after school, Greg was doing his homework while I was doing my work work. Okay, now Doc left some instructions for you, Chris. Now get all the merchandise out of all these boxes and stock the shelves with them, okay? Now all the empty boxes need to be broken down and cut up into small pieces and thrown into the dumpster behind the Chinese place when Mr. Who isn't looking. Now when that's done, you can start your work. Hey, uh, Greg, you need anything? A soda? Ice cream bar? No, thanks. How come you don't do your homework like that, Chris? Because I'm too busy cutting up boxes. Meanwhile, my father had turned into Al Cowens, and he didn't even know it. Hey, you might want to slow down. They love pulling people over on roads like these. If you're black, they like to pull you over coming out of your driveway. You know, I think we need to stop for gas soon. Have you seen the price of gas lately? It's highway robbery. Highway robbery? What's that supposed to mean? I mean, gas is costing me a fortune. Oh, <laughs> that's what you mean. Here, I'll pay for the last fill-up. A 20? Keep the change. Thanks, man. If my father was allowed to see the price of gas today, it would kill him. Now, why are you in such a rush to get to Vegas anyway? One reason. Karen, we're together, but I lost her. Well, what happened? It's a long story. I made some mistakes, and now I have to go back and tell Karen I love her and get her back. Well, I hope it all works out for you, Eddie. Not to be nosy, but you got cash. Why don't you just fly to Vegas? Oh, um, I'm, um, I'm claustrophobic. Not to mention truthophobic. Oh, Chris, your dad wanted to remind you to take the garbage out. Already did. What's wrong, baby? Well, Ma, it's just that... No, not you, baby. I was talking to Greg. What's wrong? I had to get up so early. And it took so long to get to school, I feel a little run down. Oh, well, I'm sorry you feel that way, Greg. You want Chris to run you a hot bath? A hot bath? She wouldn't let me use hot water to make hot water. I am not running him a bath. Chris, be nice, OK? Greg has had a long day. Um, that's OK. It's about time for bed. OK. Well, good night, boys. What's wrong with you? You had the same day as me, and that's school and work. So why are you so tired? It's not like I do this every day. Exactly. If you got treated like me, you wouldn't last two seconds. Hey, man. At least you have a little help around here. Most of the time, I have to get by on my own. Oh, yeah, with your own room, your own TV, your own allowance. You know what? You're being really immature. I'm being immature? Man, you're the one going to bed dressed as Superman. No, I'm going to bed dressed as Clark Kent. What I'm trying to say is, you've been here for the past four days, and I'm getting tired of doing everything for you. You know what? Nobody asked you to do anything for me. I don't want you to do anything for me. At least that way, I won't have to hear your mouth. Cool. Cool. <laughs>